So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys wanted a theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. As we always say, neatness counts. That's right, Mario. And by the way, you have a little piece of spaghetti on your overalls. Thank you, Luigi. And you have a little bit of spaghetti sauce on your shirt, as usual. Oh, really? Hi, everybody. It's Martha here, your craziest cat lady, who is filming this right now because there's... She has finally caught up with some of her videos, now she has to make some more. Uh, so yeah. Um, this is probably the last one I'm probably going to do for a while for the Mario characters, unless you guys want me to do more of it. Do I just save something for when the movie comes out? Um, I'm going to go back to doing other characters, doing other series, um, some attention. So like I said, comment down below if you want me to continue doing this, or if you want me to do a history and some other, um, classic cartoon character and these do count because these have had cartoons appearances so ha <laughs> so let's get on with it luigi i'm gonna skip i'm gonna tell uh, we obviously know that his first appearance was in the first mario game 1983 there you go um, so there, and his last appearance is a Mario game that I had not played yet because I cannot spend my money on everything is, um, Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. I'll play it when I got the money for it. So, I'm playing my PlayStation 5 games first. <laughs> then I'll do the Switch games when I have the money for it. <laughs> That's what happens when you have when you have two different um, game consoles. One gets more attention than the other, but you're not getting rid of the Switch. I'll eventually have use for it. So, let's see. Um, we go down to um, the next all the games that he has. There's Lost Worlds he always appeared in, which was um, the second Mario game, which I talked about in Mario. There's also all the ones down here, like Mario 2, Mario 3, I don't know why it says 4, but okay. Um, Super Mario World, um, Mario 3DS, because um, everybody wanted him to come into Super, Super Nintendo, Mario Super Nintendo 64. There is even that silly um, game myth that um, happens when you go to the fountain in 64 and you think it says L however how many coins there is in that game and you get all the coins you think that Luigi will show up he's in the files apparently somebody found out he was in the files and they put, made a, the very first iceberg and then I love those icebergs because I get to learn so much about the world um let's see I don't know why it's saying that one next, because that's not the next one he appears in. Um, let me look for the... Mario is missing. There we go. That's the next one he would probably appear in. Uh, before Mario, before Luigi's Mansion, everybody, the one, uh, the Mario, the me, if you wanted to play Luigi, then Luigi was in the game. Only him in the game. You would have to turn to this silly, sorry, excuse of a game Mario is missing. We're just an educational game. I don't know why I am singing. <laughs> um, anyway. 
Um, Mario is Missing is a game that where you learned about um, you learn about geography so it's probably dated now because of how much maps have changed over the years so really not a cool idea to play right now it would not be really helps you out so let's see what year this one was made let's pause the video and look it up okay it looks like um it was 1992 it does not give me a specific date which is fine it says intro release is 1992 um why does it say 1993 and 1994 over here but anyway um i'm gonna say 1992 so you don't get to fight like none of the bad guys um hurt you really in this game it's so um there is like some boss fights with between um the kids of that time period of Bowser's, but that's basically it. Um, so the next game for the Ouija, and this was for the an NES, Super Nintendo, and etc. Um, where you save Mario from being captured by the Ouija, uh, being captured by Bowser, and yada yada yada. So let me get back. Let me get um, back to that page and see what the next um, other ones that he um, appeared in. That's oh, there's also a Hotel Mario, and there's also Mario Time Machine, which is basically the same thing. Um, that one came. Let me copy it. No, why is there not copying it? There we go. And that one came out in um, 93 next year. Yay! Um, and that one is basically the same thing. I think that one has to do with history. Um... And I think he plays. Is that one? I think you. That might be one of the games you play as Mario, actually. But I'll let you guys see that. Maybe you play as Luigi too. I don't know. I don't know why I on the. I never played this one. This one was on the. I did play more. Um, Luigi's. I did play Mario's missing. As a kid, I never played this one. So let me see. What else is on here? That's. Mario's Hotel. Do I really need to bring that one up? Because that's the one like will always meme, <laughs> so I might as well. I don't think you play him in that one. He, I mean, he's in it, but I don't think you play Luigi in that one. This was on um, computers. You played this one on computers. It's 1994. It's so... Ugly looking in the animation. It's just so fun. It's just so funny to make fun of. It, like nobody will ever defend this dumb thing. It was on um Phillips DC. So yeah, nobody would want to defend that that thing. So let's see what else. There's also Island um, Yoshi's Island series where he um is the one that actually gets delivered to. And who actually gets killed by Mar um, Bowser already? So yeah, and um, Mario um, Legend of the Seven Stars Super GS where um, he appears, but I don't think you can hear that he just writes those letters about um, his coming up game. So and there's also. A bunch of things on here. Mario Paper. I don't think you can actually play him in any of these ones, so I'm not gonna mention him. And also GES stuff. So let's get to the 
the ones that helped Luigi get his startup and actually get people to like him is Luigi's Mansion, which came out in... Copy that, put it over here. Now, I played the first one, and the third one, why is it not copying it? There we go. Okay, so this one came out in 2001, September 14th. It is for um, the GameCube. Soup. Um, Nintendo 3DS. And, um, I played this one a little bit, not as much. Um, I don't, it's not come to the Switch all the way, so I only played a little bit of it. But I haven't watched people play it. The second, um, and mostly, um, you're basically playing Luigi Billing, um, a ghost. Hun. Uh, being um, a ghostbuster in it <laughs> and um he is scared and try to save Luigi from everything like that saving from ghosts and stuff like that and king boo and stuff and everything and you have um a, a professor name a professor game making you gadgets and stuff like that. And I also I did play this at a uh, arcade recently. Which is fun. So let's get um Dark the Moon out of the way, which is only on which is only um, a DS thing. That one was released on 2013, and it was on the Nintendo 3DS and um, arcade game. That's probably the one I played. And there we go. So, and there's also three, which is the one I actually beat and all the way, so good for it. And that one came out a couple of years ago, Nin um, 2019, October on the on the Halloween of that year. So, and basically, um, he make he's at a hotel with all his friends. And he has to save all his friends from being captured because. It's not just um, Mario gets captured, it's pr um, for just Peach and some Toads. So at least they changed it up a little bit. Um, so let me see, go back to the page and see if anything else I can talk about that I did not talk about in the other games, in the other videos. Um, they have him Captain Toad, but there's probably a cameo in that one. Uh, he also was in a apparent all of the Mario Kart games, uh, but I might say that for Mario Kart history, which is its own video. I'm trying to see if there's anything on here that I can also talk about. Um, let's do the voice actors for Luigi next. So let me pause this and get get that up. Okay, for the Mario um, Superstar show, um, Danielle Wells played him in that one. Uh, and the uh, Super Mario, um, Mario, one based on Mario 3 was Tony Rooster, Tony Ro Ro Rooster, Rodster, whatever. Um, go to the, go to this instead. Um, and, and as usual, Charles, um, Charles Manson, um, 
Mars and um, the one who also plays Mario with the voice of Luigi. Um, and the Charlie uh, and um, Luigi's Mansion. We got um, Charlie. We got um, Charlie Day doing that one. Let's see. Well, is anybody else besides these guys? I'm looking to see if there's anybody else on here that's recent. Oh, look, somebody else on here. Yay. Um, for, um, another one of the recent, more recent Mario Kart games, um, Julius, um, Bat, Batter, Off, did him in 2001 for um, Mario Kart Circus. We pop um, Super Circus. Okay, for um, Mario's missing, we got Bob um, Solonson who did Luigi during that. Um, we also got for that dumb Mario Hotel, uh, Hotel Mario, Matt Mark um, Gellinger. Sorry if I say any of these names wrong. And for um, Super Mario, oh, already read that, already got that one. Okay, pause. Again. And another person who did um, for the Super Mario show is um, David Moog, um, um, Wells. So pause again. Let's get the Japanese some actors some love. Um, I'll put down. I'll try to say their names. I'll make sure to put down their actual names on here. I need to watch this sh this movie eventually. I've never seen it. Um, the Mario, Super Mario, The Greatest Mission of Rex U, Printed Peace. I need to watch this. Hopefully there's an English version of this, um, out there, so I can watch. Um, for the Super, um, Mario, Amber's 1989, um, not, no, Matt, okay, I'm just gonna put down their names right here. Make sure to put it. Grab the pit, say the picture. These guys are the one. I'm just putting it on their names. I'm not gonna bother. Um, the other one is um for Pete Holmes show. Matthew Matt McCacken. Um, oh, that is Robot Chicken. Um, Bat and Murphy and um Dan um. Olmser um, for the Simpsons, Hank um, Hank Zillander. And that's basically it. Let's go look for who plays him in the movie. I'm gonna leave this page up because I'm gonna need to know. I'm gonna have to look, copy all those pictures. So let's see. Um, the Mario movie. Where is that? The two Mario movies. Okay, so Charlie, who's gonna play him during the Mario movie that comes out next? Comes out in um, April. Gotta remember that it's already 2023. <laughs> um, uh, even though it's earlier last year, it didn't feel like um, last year it was moving so well. But for the mo the dumb movie that everybody would want to forget, even the people who were in it. I have to mention it because he did voice Luigi in it. Is um John Lu Luent. So I'm, remember, I'm gonna put their older names on here. So that's who played him in that one. So that is for history on Luigi. Um, all the games that he you get to play him as. In there, I know you also can play him in Mario Galaxy and um Luigi Wii U. Um. But mostly those are just um, reskin games of other games. So I'm not just, should I even bother mentioning those? Should I? I don't know. But one thing I always liked about Luigi that he actually has a personality, unlike Mario. Mario is just a blank screen and a blank character, um, unless it's him being mean to Mario, him being we mean to Luigi or anybody else out there. But 
Luigi actually has a personality, a scaredy um, coward who actually has to be brave, who has to try being brave, even though he, in order to save whoever is out there need to be saved. So it's actually a personality, unlike Mario. So that's why that's why we all of us actually love Luigi. So there you guys go. Hope you guys like, favor, and subscribe. Leave comments down below who you want me to do next. Or if you want me to continue doing this, I I need to do Peach. I need to do Bowser. I need to do um, Toad. I need to do Wario. But I, if I do them all right now, I won't have anything to do the next trailer comes out or when the movie comes out. So I'm gonna try saving some of them unless you guys want me to do them all right now. Then I'll do them all right now. So bye bye.